Hello students, Miss Swanson here, and today we're taking a look at the root system. Now I like this picture here because it shows how very, very different the root systems are of different types of plants. So you can see some of them sort of branch out sideways, some of them are very long, some of them have lots of different roots, some of them just have the major roots that are very thick. So you can see that different plants have different styles of root systems. And we're just going to learn the basics today, but there are very different types of root systems depending on the type of plant. So we have a few learning goals today. You should be able to describe the role of the root system or its purpose. You should be able to identify a root system from a diagram, and you should be able to list and describe the parts of the root system. So first of all, if this is a plant here, the part that's underneath the ground is the root system, and the part above the ground is the shoot system. Now the root system has a couple parts. There's the primary root, which comes down from the main stem, and then there's the lateral roots, which branch out from the main, the primary root. So what are the roles of the root system? Well, it anchors the plant into the ground. It absorbs water and minerals from the soil, and these are used, well, for one thing, for photosynthesis, and also because plant cells need water and they need minerals just to survive and to exist. And then finally, it stores food. So we're familiar with some types of roots like carrots, that orange part that we eat, that's actually the root, so that's a type of food. Um, so those, those plants store food in the roots. So there are different sections of the root. There's the zone of differentiation, which is closer to the top, the zone of elongation, which is below that, and then the root cap, which is the very bottom of the root. So let's take a look at each of these one at a time. First of all, the zone of differentiation is where cells become specialized uh, to have various different functions. So we talked about meristematic tissue in the lecture on tissues. And so in here we have lots of meristematic tissue that becomes differentiated into certain types of root cells. And then that gives the root the various functions that it needs. So that's the zone of differentiation. The zone of elongation, the next section, has two areas. There's the apical meristem and the lateral meristem. The apical meristem is where the root grows in height, and the lateral meristem is where it grows in diameter, so where it grows outwards. And the lateral meristem also produces those lateral roots that come out sideways from the primary root. And then finally, the root cap protects the, the bottom of the root. So it's more uh, compact types of cells that are um, at the bottom of the root and protecting it. Now, there are also a couple types of tissues that were a couple uh, specific um, types of tissues that we'll look at. So there's the epidermis, which uh, is a type of um, tissue that surrounds the outside of the root, and that just protects the root. This is similar to human skin. And then also coming out of the epidermis, we have root hairs, and these are used to increase the absorption of water and minerals. So it just has an increase in surface area, so that allows more water, more minerals to come up into the plant. So let's take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to describe the role or the purpose of the root system. You should be able to identify the root system from a diagram, and you should be able to list and describe the parts of the root system. If you can do all these things, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video, and if you're still having questions, come ask me in class tomorrow. Alright, that's all for now. Bye-bye!